Hey guys, in this video, I show what burrs and tools I use to carve this little troll underneath the mystical wizard bridge. My name's Jordy Johnson. My name's Grumpy Jesse, and this is Carving Fusion by Jordy Johnson. See ya. Grumpy Jesse, what are those green things in your ears? Well, what do you mean, Jordy? What do you mean, what are those green things in my ears? God, you ask a lot of stupid questions, don't you? What are they? They're earplugs. Why do you got earplugs in your ears, Grumpy Jesse? I'll tell you why I got all these green... I'll tell you why I got these earplugs in my ears, the green ones, is because I'm tired of the goddamn wood spirits all around your house trying to talk to me. And I just don't want to talk to them, so I thought I'd put the earplugs in so I don't have to listen to them. Okay? That's why I got these stupid green earplugs in my ears. <laughs> grumpy Jesse, oh, you're just one of a kind, aren't you? Yeah, I'm the only Grumpy Jesse there is. <laughs> Excuse me, another hungover day. So, Jordy, what are you working on here, anyways? You know, I'm really liking the um, the, will the magical wizard village that you've been working on lately because, you know, well, that wizard just doesn't talk. Why doesn't that wizard talk, Jordy? Well, Grumpy Jesse, this wizard doesn't talk because he's on guard for the dragon. He's always standing guard. Just Carve Rob made him and sent him over to me as a gift. Well, I like him. I think he's cool because he doesn't talk. Well, he can talk. Do you want me to say hi to him? Do you want me to get him to say hi to you, Grumpy Jesse? No, don't do that. Just let him sit there and be quiet and be on guard for the dragons. So, Jordy, what are those blocks there above the bridge that you made? Well... These blocks here, of, uh, Grumpy Jesse, are basswood. And one of my YouTube subscribers, and he's got his own channel, Mario Tata, has challenged me to carve a troll. A troll? What do you mean, a troll? Yeah, a troll for underneath the bridge there. <laughs> What's a troll going to look like? Well, Grumpy Jesse, maybe I'll make the troll look like you. You kind of look like a troll. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, sometimes you just need to shut up. So, anyways, Grumpy Jesse, this wood here, it's basswood. I think I'm going to get that smaller, thinner block and uh, cut it with my uh, uh, jigsaw. Cut a piece of it off, make it a little bit shorter, and start carving a troll for underneath the drawbridge. D -d -br not draw a bridge, with bridge. Okay, Jordy, well, you just do what you gotta do, and uh, I'm just gonna go have a nap, because I, I was up all night, drinking, partying, just living the life, hot babes, and just giving her. So once again, I'm hungover, I'm gonna keep my earplugs in, I'm gonna go hide in my room, and shut the door, and go to sleep. Okay, Grump Jess, well, you go to sleep, but thanks for popping in today's video, and um, we'll chat at you soon. And uh, are your ears off balance? Like you got one ear higher than the, the another ear there? Nope. Well, it sure looks like you do with the way your earplugs are set in. Well, Jordy, you know, just I've had enough time for me to go. See you later. And uh, yeah, hope everybody's good out there. <laughs> Okay, so you can see here I took this, this little piece of basswood out um, so I can cut it with my jigsaw. So I don't even really know what type of troll I'm going to carve. I'm going to kind of try and, I kind of got a memory of what uh, Mario's troll looked like. So I'm going to give this guy kind of like a eagle kind of head thing. So it's going to be like, um, I don't know, I can't, I can't uh, draw this on. But So what I'm going to do is just carve this and I'm going to tell you guys... Uh, well, I don't even know what I'm going to carve yet, to tell you the truth. But I'm going to tell you guys what type of burrs I'm going to use. I'll say one thing. I'm going to be using cut saw. Um, let's see here. I should have had one handy, and I don't. But I'm going to be using cut saw burrs. You can go to the description below to get to the cut saw site. Use the code CFUSION to save yourself 5%. It's not zooming in. 
This is a Cutsall Extreme Flame Burr. I love these burrs. And I'm going to be using lots of diamond tip burrs in this, uh, for this carving, this basswood, guys, because it's pretty soft wood. This is a real good wood to get for uh, beginning wood carvers because it's soft and it's got a real tight grain. Like, you, there's really no, I don't know, the grain's a lot different in this kind of stuff. Just Carve Rob uses this wood lots. Um, lots of whittlers like that carve with knives like to use this stuff. It's a little bit fuzzy for when you're using the type of burrs that I use, like ones like this. But it's a real, I think it's a good wood for um, the the beginning wood carvers, you know. It's just like, so you can see the grain there, but not really. So anyways, um, go to Just Carve Rob's channel if you want to learn how to whittle this kind of stuff. I'll leave a description below. And uh, so, anyways, I'm just going to get on with carving the troll and I'll stop at uh, key points where I think it has something to offer. Show somebody different types of burrs and stuff like that, okay? Okay guys, so this is what I got so far. I wanted them to kind of be like a hunched back thing. I don't even know how I'm going to make the face or whatever. There's his arms. This was like, took me like five minutes to carve it out to here. I'm just winging it. This is the burr that I started off with guys. This is extreme, cuts all extreme taper burr, okay? Just to do out all the roughing. So pretty soon here. I don't know if I'm going to give this guy hands or what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll make him claws. Who knows? Oh, hands are tricky. But maybe I'll just give them some like eagle claws or something. Maybe I'll make them like an eagle troll. I don't know. But I want them to be like a hunchback. So anyways, I'm going to uh, just kind of... He's got a duck when he gets under the bridge. Look, he's having a nap. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to uh, drink some coffee. Just kind of check it out a bit, stir it up for a bit, and open up my mind and figure out what my next move is going to be. But I think I'm going to switch over to these uh, these um, diamond burrs. Find myself uh, a flame one. The flame shape, guys, like I repeat in my videos. Uh, I don't know, just car just car Rob does too. But these, uh, this one's a little bit plugged up. I got to get that stone to uh, unplug these. I don't know what it's called. Just car Rob has it, but I'm going to have to get one. So I'm going to start... Uh, after my break, I'll start hitting it with the um, this diamond burr flame shape. You get them all different shape. I think this is pretty aggressive diamond burr, guys. These burrs, you know, but they're not too aggressive. They just whatever. So you can see that one. Like it's pretty. It's pretty aggressive for a diamond burr. Anyways, that's what my next move is going to be. Okay guys, so I got it all cleaned up a little bit. <laughs> now I'm gonna carve the claws in. So it's gonna have three claw hands, kinda of, I don't know, whatever. I got a little tiny diamond burr in there. I can could I got ones that are thinner. You guys can buy those diamond burr sets at your uh, local like Canada Princess Auto and in the States is Harbor Flight Freight. But you guys with your burrs, again I repeat myself, push when you're when you're gonna tighten your bear burr. Put it in. Ah, geez, how can I do this? Whatever. Push your burr in all the way and just pull it out a little bit like that. Like, okay, so here it is pushed in all the way. Then pull it out just a little bit. Then tighten it up like that. In case your burr gets stuck in, stuck in there after you're done carving, then all you have to do is tap your Dremel down and push the burr and then you can pull it out. So push it in all the way. Pull it out just a little bit. Then tighten it like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the claws in now, okay, with this little tiny diamond burr. I don't even really need to do it with a diamond burr. I could just burn it in, but my burner is uh, kind of screwed up right now. I'm going to have to talk to my buddy Pete about it, actually. But um, you can use these mag these jeweler lens things, too. This one has lights. 
okay so like this is a magnifier lens on here i gotta clean it before i use it but yeah so this one i got at a flea market for like 30 bucks or something probably not the best but it works it magnifies so you when you want to do details because when you're doing the detail carving and you're using this you know the lines after you take this off then you look at it your lines seem a lot straighter than they would be from the normal eye if that makes sense you know what i mean so if you want to get straighter lines use one of these then look at it after you use this and it's not so magnified and it looks a lot better than it does from the normal eye if that makes sense so that's what i'm going to do to carve these little silly friggin claws in So this is what I got done so far with this silly little troll. I don't even know what a troll looks like. I could have Googled trolls, but whatever. She's going to have some long hair there. That's his hair on top, guys. So, um, yeah. This is what it is, his silly little claws. Uh, he's got some feet there. I'm going to cut this guy low, down so he can just barely fit under the bridge, I think. You know, so I'll just carve the bottom shallower and I'm going to make it, um, I'm going to take, I'm going to stand up silly little guy. I'm going to uh, take this, this, uh, let's see here. I'm going to take this deeper in now. So then once this is cut down, then I can make them like uh, kind of have claw feet too. I don't know. I don't know what to do with the face though. You guys know that show um, was from way back, but there's a new series on Netflix now. What's it called? Um crystal something those guys there those crystal uh, what's that show called damn it fuck crystal something but all those it was a puppet show but it was super cool when i was younger but they just redid it that's what i'm going to make this face kind of look like here so his mouth will kind of come across here and maybe i'll give him some eyes there. i don't know whatever it is what it is just having fun and enjoying it and it's nice to carve little things like this too because then you don't have such a mess and you can just you don't i don't really have to run my um desk collector table and listen to the noise i just put on some tunes and just start carving put my desk mask on and uh, good to go so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to cut this down like i said make it kind of so he fits under the bridge just barely and uh then i'll um, carve this back and his feet make his claws stick a little more i guess i don't know Okay guys, I got this uh, cheap wood burner again, once again on uh, Amazon. Go to the description below and I'm an Amazon partner, I have to say that. So if you want to find this for like 50, 60 or 70 bucks. Um, I will eventually upgrade to a, a good quality one. But when the timing's right, so turn it on. And what I'm going to do is just some quick wood burning on this to kind of make it, um, give it the hair effect. Like he's got little hairs, kind of. I think I'm going to wood dye this guy. Uh, maybe blue. I think blue might be a good color for him. Just to put some more colors into the wizard theme. So yeah, just give a quick little, quick little hits. Kind of act like hair, right? His whole body's going to be hair. He's a freaking troll. He should be a hairy little troll with, you know, that slimes and shit. I don't know. Whatever. So I'll get all this done and then I'll be back and then I'll show you the wood dye stuff that I'm going to use. Um, I don't think I want to give him any hair on his face. Because I want it to be kind of like a beak. But what we what you can do here, because I learned this from Just Carve Raw, is you can burn underneath here because if I'm painting the face it will stop paint lines it will stop paint from running so just give it a quick burn under there so I don't know maybe I'm burning it too hot so uh, 
Let's burn his eyes in here. Oh, damn it. This is going to be tricky. There, that's good. Oh, well, I don't even know what the hell. It's a troll. There, there's his eyes. Okay. So, um, and we'll burn in the eye um, under the arms here. Just to give it different effects when you're um, staining it. Or whatever you want to do. I'm going to give it a color, blue. And then I'll poly shade it after. So you guys can see. Okay, so I'll finish this. I'm going to turn this down. This is too hot. Okay, but I'll be back. Okay, guys. So this is... Um, I live in Canada, so I got this at, uh, this stuff at Lee Valley. Okay, this is a blue color powdered wood dye. Water-based. Okay. So it's this is blue. I don't know. Anyways, this is powdered water-based wood dye so it's in here it's been sitting in here they say to leave it for 20 minutes okay so let's make this guy blue he's not going to be that bright blue when he's done because i'm going to put poly shade over it too like a brownish color so but let's try and leave his hands um i'm careless at this kind of stuff but let's try and leave his hands and his beak not blue that's why the those burn lines there help stop the blue from transferring. Can you guys see this? Yeah. It will stop the blue from running, like pretend it's paint, from um, going on to the beak. Because it will stop at the burn line. That's why I learned that from Just Carve Rob too, actually. Wow, Just Carve Rob, you've been getting lots of shout outs for me, buddy. Hey. Eh? That's good though. You're a good woodcarver and uh, you're a funny guy. And I think you've had the flu the last couple of days, so I hope you're kind of feeling better, bud. So what I do with this is I'll just finish it off. And then to help, because you don't know the true color until it's dry, right? So you think about putting water on this piece so you're making it wet. So all I do is just get a, my heat gun, or if you, got a, if you guys don't have a heat gun or a hair dryer, to speed it up. Just... Uh, Use that, and it will. Then you'll see actually how how bright the piece is. So the, you got to remember, the more that you put on, the wetter it's going to get too, right? So this silly little troll. I think he kind of looks like a turtle troll. His little turtle face there. Who says a troll has to look like anything? A troll can look like what you want your troll to look like, guys. That's my opinion. All your carvings, if you're doing wood spirits, that's why I like doing them. Because they can look like what I want to look like. Like, I think if I carve a bear, you want it to kind of look like a bear. Or if you carve an eagle, it should kind of look like... I have my own style of eagles, but it should kind of look like an eagle. You know what I mean? Look at that silly little troll. Okay, so I'm going to hook up the... I'll press pause. I'll get the, the heater gun out. how bright it's going now at the bottom up because it's drying and the wood's not so wet right so I'll just finish drying this off and then I'll add the poly shades okay you can see how really bright it is now. I hit it with my flap sander. Yeah, I sanded some detail away, but that's okay. It's just a silly little troll. So I got this uh, Minwax Poly Shade, guys. I love this stuff. What color is this? Really stuck. Uh, maybe if it wasn't French. Hold on. Classic Oak. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is hit it with this. I'm going to paint it, paint the whole thing with this. And then I'm going to go over it with my uh, flap sander again. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay, Mario. So there you go. There's my silly little turtle troll underneath the bridge. I'm calling him a snapping turtle tro troll. But he will eat you. So do not bother him underneath his bridge. Okay, Mario. 
But Mario, I know you said, when am I going to carve a troll? Yeah, okay, well, I just carved a troll. But Mario, does your bridge have a beware of troll sign? Does it, Mario? I don't think it does, Mario. I just don't think it does. Ah, <laughs> uh, silly little turtle troll. I just burnt the beware of the um, troll with epoxy. These things are just whatever. I think I'm going to be carving real plants for this. Real wood plants. But there you go. I epoxied it all in. Not just epoxy, the extra epoxy I had. I just rubbed it on the face too. Make something shiny once in a while. I'll epoxy this in when um, I put the bridge in place. I'll make it solid in there. Silly little troll. So you guys, you know, for doing little carvings like this and stuff like this, I'm telling you right now, these jeweler masks really help out a lot. You know, that's probably the best rating I've ever done. Well, because I had this, so everything was magnified, right? So that's that, Mario. There you go, buddy. Yeah, i seen your little dragon video. I know you got a dragon too, so don't worry, guys. I'll be carving some kind of dragon or mystical creature to hide in the cave. So I hope everybody's good. And, um, yeah, I'd love to see you uh, start carving all this wizard-themed stuff too. Oh, and uh, just so you know, Just Carve Rob, I'm keeping this here. So uh, it's a friendly reminder about your monster carvings that you've been doing and um well it's that's why i just keep it there for a reminder that uh you ain't gonna beat me with the monsters but i'm just waiting when the time's right i'm gonna be carving a monster that uh well your little octopus monster and your 20 arm friggin freakazoid monster from octopus land well guess what rob i'm coming for you bud I'm coming.